Hello and welcome to a new weekly video. So today I am doing my last video of the year. This is so weird. There's only a few days left in this year, in 2016. It was a long year, but at the same time it, it feels like it wasn't that long ago that I filmed my videos for the end of last year. So it's a bit weird. So this video is going to be kind of a roundup of 2016 on different levels and my goals and hopes for 2017 basically. I'm not going to ramble on too much, I just want to keep it like kind of a brief video to kind of sum up how I've felt during this year and what I'm hoping for the next. So I'm going to stop, start first with the world and what happened in 2016. I feel like for the world overall 2016 was probably one of the most rubbish year I've ever remembered. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know if it's become, a, I, I became more aware of things or if it's because it was an absolutely rubbish year. I feel like conflicts have become horrible in the world, not that they were not before, but they have reached a point which is absolutely ridiculous. A lot of important people died and good people died, far too young. A lot of iconic people died, far too young once again. A lot of people who should not be given too much power have gained far too much power. I'm going to stay in general, you may read things the way you want there. Um, and I'm just going to talk about a few events that to me have marked this year because they really touched me, either in a good way or a bad way. Um, the first one is... Uh, the vice attacks that happened in France. So some of them were actually in 2015 at the end of it, at the end of it. But um, one that I really, really uh, is like just to me, it is really <laughs> touching me is the one that happened in Nice on the 14th of July. Obviously, I am from France. I am from very close to Nice, and I have my sister living there. This is where I fly to every single time I go and visit my family. So I'm very attached to the place. It was on the French National Day, and um, I found out by my sister texting me that she was at the event but she was okay, she was safe and it was not on the news yet when I found out and I didn't know what had happened yet and then I just had to try and wait for the news to explain to me what was going on because she could not contact me anymore after that. <coughs> very, very, very scary uh, moment really. Um, then there was Brexit. I have never cried so much over an election, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, it felt extremely frustrating for me to be um, in a country where I am an immigrant, uh, but I chose to come here because I like the country and I chose the UK because it was part of Europe. If it wasn't part of the EU, I would never have come here because it would have been very difficult for me to do it. And also, I do feel a bit more like an European citizen than a strongly French citizen, if that makes sense. Especially now that I've been here 10 years, I, am I identify myself more as European than I would as French, if that makes sense. And to see that so many people didn't want people like me in their country, because it was one of the strong motivations for some, I'm not going to say everyone now, I'm, um, it's the kind of thing where I always feel like it's important to understand where people are coming from and I completely agree that people are going to disagree with me on some subjects. I know some people who voted to leave, but they had other motivations. Um, what is a shame is that I feel like they were lied to and they believed people who lied blatantly to be to get their way. <coughs> a lot of these people voted because they thought it would save the NHS, which is our national care, uh, like health care. And um, it was a lie. It really was a lie. So, uh, unfortunately for those people, I really hope they feel okay about their decision since it did not happen and it will not happen. Uh, but there was a, ma a big, big part of people who did vote to kick people out, like me. <laughs> and that was a bit shocking for me to live in that you know, country. I do realize now that um, so far nothing has really technically changed yet, apart from the economy crashing, but 
yeah no it's what you know so far it's still livable will i stay here in the future it will depend on what's happening you know with that but it's definitely something that has strongly i'm not gonna say scarred me <laughs> it's a strong word but it has really upset me a lot this year the third main one and i'm just I'm, I'm only picking three because i have to pick three and i can't i mean i could talk about loads of things but that's the three main thing that shocked me third one has to be uh donald trump being elected i i to still to this day to me it's kind of a parallel with brexit i feel like the motivation of a lot of people who voted for him were similar to the motivation of a lot of people who wanted to leave the EU in the sense that they wanted something new and they want there was a lot of racism involved as well in that um, and they believed in a lot of lies so even if it's not exactly the same thing I still feel like um, the on a lot of aspects it is a very similar event um, and I do feel like I can actually sympathize very much with the people who are in my situation in America and are feeling a bit unsafe and unsure about their future. I do hope that for both of these events, it will kind of be less bad than what we imagine it couldn't be like. And I, 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 I kind of hope that it will flop badly for those people who, you know, who wanted to change everything and all that. <coughs> but we'll see, like only time will tell. So I guess a lot of things are going to happen next year based around these things. And it is, yeah, very uncertain, so we can just wait and see. There's nothing we can do to change these elections now, so fingers crossed it goes well for everyone. That's all I'm, you know, hoping. Um, <coughs> another thing I've learned through those kind of events is how nasty people can get on the internet. I kind of knew it, but I never experienced it that much. And the violence of some of the um, things people could say was just absolutely ridiculous. And I do feel like with those events happening more often, it's just the, the, the verbal violence online keeps rising and rising and rising. And it's something that I really didn't like, but I've never experienced as much as this year so far. So I really hope it was a bad year and next year it was, you know, it's going to go down. Not, I know I'm, I'm being quite optimistic there, but let's hope, please. Um... On the personal side of things, this year has been, let's say, less bad than last year. I'm not going to say it was perfect, I'm not going to say it was bad. We had some good news, but it was kind of a reconstruction year. Um, learning to live with the way things were left after the damage of cancer entering our house. Um, so, yeah, nothing bad really happened. It, it's kind of going very, very, very slowly up, but it's very slowly, and I, I think what I struggled with that I expected things to build up quicker probably and it does feel very slow now that it's the end of the year and I can look back I'm thinking actually we've done quite a lot it has felt really slow while it was happening but if I look back now at where we were a year ago I'm realizing oh actually we didn't do too bad there <laughs> so you know it is a year of reconstruction and for the next year I'm just hoping that this is going to continue to build I feel like at the moment it's building up a little bit faster again so hopefully you know we get some good <laughs> good things happening in the next year for that but uh, same again I'm not gonna keep my hopes too high I'm just gonna stay optimistic and take it a day or a week at a time and just see what happens and that's the best way we can do it then when it comes to my personal development let's say, let's say this year I started a new business I also struggled with juggling two businesses. I literally went back to work this year after being on maternity leave for a long time and then being on kind of a carer's leave, if that's the closest thing you can call it. <coughs> and um, for a while I had to neglect myself because, it, you know, the way when, when you have to take care of a lot of other people, like a newborn baby who has just arrived, your, your husband was sick and all that, you just have to... You can't do anything for yourself you just don't have a choice and you do it it's it's not you know it's just the way it is that's life um but i feel like i started this year to start to take care of myself again um and that was through various things to do things i like to take some me time which i really much needed to go th to do some to go to see a therapist and to, you know to deal with a lot of things and i think even if i've done it i haven't done it enough still 
because I wouldn't allow myself to do it. So one of my goals for the next year is to actually do that more. And that comes through different things. It's basically what I'm going to do and what my main goal is for the next year is to take everything I have put in place this year but make it bigger in a way. So I created a tiny little business <coughs> and I have my old business which are both very small simply because I don't have a lot of time to grow them massively. But I know that from September next year Alfie will be going to a playgroup so I will be having two to two and a half hours a day to myself where I can dedicate that time to doing more work. So my goal is to grow these like tiny little baby businesses a little bit more over time. So then by September they are not tiny little babies, they are toddlers, like <laughs> toddler businesses. And um, I can do more with them and start gradually, you know, going up. And with time, as the boys get bigger, they will be in school longer and I will have more and more time to work on these. So as much as I want these businesses to grow, I don't want to grow them too fast because I want to, it's very important for me to have the time for my family so I want a good balance between things and um, in the last few months you will have seen me struggle with my life and work balance on the vlogs but I'm trying and like, so it's like trial and error and I'm getting somewhere so this is something I'm hoping to get next year. Another thing I decided I would do last year which I will certainly continue is to try new crafts. So in the last year I just I learned the ukulele and uh, I decided to try loads of little crafts which was like smaller craft projects. Uh, I signed up for a wreath making workshop for Christmas to make my own wreath. Um, I've tried more decoupage techniques and you know a lot small craft projects. One of the ones I've decided to learn in the next year is uh, watercolor and painting in general. Uh, I would like ideally to have my own designs uh, for my stickers and I've been doodling a lot but I kind of feel like I want to try new techniques of how to create pictures so it might not go anywhere but it's something I want to try so I am getting craft supplies to do painting and all that. Um, crafting really calms me down and as you may know anxiety is a big part of my life and it has been a big issue for me in 2016 and I find that being artistic does kind of channel this anxiety into something positive does this make sense so I want to try new techniques and see I think sometimes you just need to try things and you may think you're not like you'll not like something and then you find that you really love it so I want to try new techniques of drawing and painting and writing and you know all to do with graphic stuff and then that's I think that's about it overall my my goal is to just take care of myself <laughs> take care of myself really while continuing to take care of my family and sometimes <coughs> it's hard when you are you have two young children and you have a husband who needs some care to put you like not put yourself back completely and to sometimes just say, right, I need some me time and just take it. I think, yeah, I think that's what what I need to do more. So that's that's kind of it for this video. Um, my advice for you would be, I don't really believe in like New Year resolution when they are very, very precise. Like I'm going to lose that many kilos. And if they work for you, brilliant. But they're, oh, honestly, they've never worked for me. And this year, I feel like having a very general goal, which could... It's not that it's changing every month, but for example, like if I say I want to take care more of myself as a person, one month I could be working on doing something artistic, one another month I could be work focusing on going through therapy, another month I could do read a book that would help me, you know. <coughs> I find that having a very general goal really helps me to stay focused with that without feeling like I, I'm tied to this very specific thing I've decided on at the end of last year and I can't stick to it, you know what I mean? So that would be my advice. Don't have very precise resolutions but have more like a general goal and stick to that maybe and see if it works. Anyway that's the end of this video. I wish you a very very happy new year and I hope whatever your resolutions may be you manage to stick to them and if you don't it doesn't really matter as long as you're doing things that make you happy. 
If you have any goals for next year or any resolutions or if you would like to share with me the three main world events that touched you this year, please write them in the comments. I would find it really interesting to see what different people would find, you know, the most shocking things. Um, it could be very happy things as well. You don't have to focus on the bad things that happen in the world, you know, three things that made you happy. But I would love to find out where you're from and <coughs> your age group and gender and three uh, like news titles let's say that this year really affected you if you could share that with me i would be very thankful because it's not to judge anybody it's i, I genuinely find it interesting to see how people in the world get affect, affected differently by different things so that's all it is i will see you next year bye, bye.